know everybody been waiting for this video. So here we motherfreaking go. I'm back with another video. I know you and your mama seen that video going viral on TikTok. That video, picture going viral on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I got my body done. Before I start this video, I want to start the video off by saying, I feel like if you are not comfortable with your body, get it done. I don't care what nobody say, nobody da -da 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 -da, done this surgery, did surgery, that, da, da 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 If you got the money for it, baby, get it done. Don't care what nobody say about your body, baby. Like, if you want to get your body done, get your body done. It's your life, your body, and your mind. Don't keep walking around here being insecure and da 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 da. If you don't like your body, get it done. That's all I got to say. So to all the people in my messages and in my inbox, my comments, talking about some, you could have just went to the gym, or you could have just did a couple of push-ups, or you could have just did a little diet, or you wasting your money, and, you know, <laughs> saying that, I'm here to say, I don't care what y'all saying, y'all didn't pay for my body to get done, I paid for it. Your mama didn't pay, so tell her to shut up too. So I had went to Miami this spring break or whatever, and I had seen all of the boys, they body snatched, talk. And I was tired of walking around Miami, sucking my stomach in, you know what I mean? Like, I was really, really skinny. And I had sort of taken like a weight gain supplement, which is called a pediment. If you don't know what a pediment is, let me show you. This is what I was taking right here. It's called a pediment, right? So it's a circuit and you pop, you get the little cap, you pour it, I pour it like, okay, so you're supposed to take it three times a day. Three times a day, and it's supposed to be taking like 30 milliliters a day. So if you took it like, I don't really know how to explain it. Like, basically I took 30 milliliters a day and I took this also with doubling my calories. So as you know, like I looked up on Google how much to stay like way like 150 and it told me like, I would have to like eat about 1500 calories. So what I would do is on a daily, I would go to Burger King and I would get me a Big Mac from Burger King. And then I would eat that like twice a day. Well, I would get that. That's already like 1500 calories right there. And I'll get another meal with like another thousand calories. And what that would do is since the pediment, it slows your metabolism down and the Bacon King and the calories, you know, metabolism slowing down then you eating more, you gonna get a little bit thick. Thank me later. Tell your boyfriends, you finna get thick. If y'all want a bottle of Pediment, hit me up. I can get you a bottle for $45. Just hit me up, I got you. Oh, I had to start taking a Pediment so I can gain weight. Gain a couple of pounds, and I got what I wanted. I had got a little thick. I got a little thick, that's all I wanted. But, getting Thick in the right spots, I got thick in the wrong spots too. My stomach, uh, my thigh, I like my thighs. My face kind of got a little bit fatter also. So, I had got a little gain, a little weight. I didn't want to work out. I don't want a muscle booty. So, I didn't, um, you know, work out for no muscle booty. I want, I want a nice, fat, soft, jiggly, when you walk booty. So, I kept the booty. If I'm gonna keep the booty and not work out, if one plus one equals two, Two plus two equals no more stomach. So I got my stomach going. I had got my surgery done in Orlando, Florida. <clears throat> my doctor name was Dr. Fam. I'm going to probably insert like a picture of his Instagram up here. His name is Dr. Fam. His um the spot where I got my surgery done was his like his doctor's office. It was called the um Fam's Institution of Ethology. Put that in here too, I don't know. Um, I got it done there. Um, for me to get my ab um, surgery, the abdominal, it, it was, it's called abdominal edging, by the way. Don't go to your doctor saying, can I get the ab surgery? They're not gonna know what you're talking about. Well, they might know. They're gonna know what you're talking about, but they're gonna look at you like you're dumb. Ask them about the pricing, see like how much is it? You know, consultation, all this stuff like that. I got the ab, the um, abdominal etching. It was $5,500, but then, well, I also, I got the abdominal etching plus I had my love handles. My love handles were like, I they wasn't like 
coke bottle look like an IG model walk with a water bottle shit like a coke bottle it wasn't giving that it was giving like lean over to the side it's like three little rows right there on the side I can answer the pictures of like the back of me right here I didn't like it. I'm going to answer our pictures of the front like the side of me too because the picture y'all seen on social media y'all keep on saying I wasn't that big but I really had a little gut baby for real I had love handles also so I had got liposuction with the love handles and I had got abdominal etching so I got the little coat bottle and got my little coat hourglass body yeah in total it was fifty five hundred dollars yeah so me personally i did not get any surgery done to my butt okay let y'all know that i want to let everybody watching this video know i didn't get anything to my butt <laughs> i'm just naturally thick she made me thick okay <laughs> she made me thick i didn't get, I, I didn't get no surgery on my butt Sorry, you can slap it, it won't hurt. It was $5,500 for the procedure. Whoa. Listen, don't be scared because I said, whoa. I promise you, Dr. Fam, going to make sure you do not feel anything. I promise you, that thing, you do not feel nothing. I was woke for $5,500, but I could have, um, I could have went to sleep. I could I could have got put to sleep for an extra $2,000. If you got it, I love it. I didn't want to waste $2,000 to get put to sleep. I go to sleep for free. So I stayed woke during my procedure. I had to drive from South Carolina to Orlando, Florida. It was about a cute 12 hour drive. I drove a Tesla. I had to charge up a cute five, six times. <clears throat> there had got me an Airbnb. If you get an Airbnb, please buy some plastic to put on the beds. You're going to be bleeding. Um, so I slept on the floor a couple of days in my Airbnb after my surgery, but we're going to get into that. Um, so I got there, went to the office. They give you two volumes. For y'all who do y'all pills and y'all medicine or whatever like that, y'all sell y'all medicine, y'all sell y'all love. However y'all make y'all money, y'all love it. Um, Y'all know what the value is. I don't. She was scared to take a value because I don't like being high. I don't know what high is. I don't agree with the feeling of being high. So um, they give you two values and then I guess you feel a little high. I don't know. I don't know how high I feel. So I don't know if I was high. If I was just feeling good, I just know I was telling jokes or whatever. I don't know. I felt good. So then I got put to the table. I got laid down on the table. You know how they say you got put on the table like you got your surgery done or whatever? It's not really a table, but you know what I mean? Like a little chair, surgery, surgery chair or whatever. So, and he gave me a shot at the bottom of my stomach. I got a couple of slits at the bottom of my stomach. Um, got the slit. It was like a little pinch. It does not hurt. It feels like a little COVID shot. He would tell you that too. Um, He gave you a little shot. It kind of numbed you a little bit. Then he sticks like, I wasn't looking. I didn't want to look. I want to say a rod, like a little rod. And they had like some, the numbing medicine at the bottom of the rod. So once he put the, the rod in a little bit, he squeezed the numbing medicine. This is what it felt like, y'all. He squeezed the numbing medicine in a little bit inside of you. And it like, it was like a burning sensation for like th two, three seconds tops. Like, I promise you. It wasn't no bad. Like you, uh, it wasn't no, ah! Like it wasn't nothing. It was just like, whoop. and then like he push it further. But when he push it further, since he already put the numbing stuff in a little bit, you don't feel it. He push it further, shoot some more medicine in there. Push it further, shoot some more medicine, shoot some more. I promise you, at the end of it, I didn't feel anything. It felt like the rocks or whatever he was numbing me with. It felt like that was still in me. When honestly, I was just really, really numb. I didn't feel nothing. When once he started the procedure, all I felt was like vibration. That's it. It felt like a vibrator on my chest. Just without the sensation. Well, I, mean, I guess you could say it felt good. It, it, it was something. You know, ladies, you probably will enjoy it. I kind of got a scar here. If you can see, this is one of my surgery scars, guys. But, um, yeah, he had, um, you know, no, we started the procedure or whatever. I can insert some videos of me getting my surgery done. I was actually recording him while I was doing it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Dr. Sam is the coolest doctor ever. He's He know what he doing. He been in the game for about 20 years. He do this. He got doctor in front of his name. So if y'all want y'all stomach done, go to doctor. Damn. But I'm going to insert all his information on how to get the procedure and like where to contact him at in the description below so you all can go mess with my guy. He can get you right. But, yeah, so after that, y'all, I promise you, 
I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this or not, but I drove there to the doctor's office and since he numbed me really, really, really good and I wasn't like put to sleep on no anesthesia or nothing like that, it was called um, local anesthesia, which is like you woke basically. Um, when I got done with my surgery, I honestly got up, took a picture with the doctor in the mirror, boom. And we just, I just left, hopped back in my car and drove back home. Well, I had to drive to the doctor's office, not the doctor's, the little prescription office, got my prescription or whatever. They gave me some hydrocodone and they gave hydrocodone, hydrocodone, one of the two. And he gave me some, um, some medicine for like, I don't get like infections or whatever. So I had got both of the medicines. I told them I didn't have any insurance. So I only ended up paying about $100 for both of the medicines together. So if you do get the surgery and you don't have insurance or whatever, it would be about $100 to get your pain medicine after. So that's not, just keep that in mind if you do. Just want to give y'all all the information y'all may need. So if y'all do want to go through the procedure also, you got it. When I had to pay for the, since my surgery was $5,500, I had to pay a $500 deposit. The deposit is $500, so that's not really too bad either. Then you pay the rest when you get there. You can pay in cash, you can pay with a car, baby. I don't know about a check, but ask them. They don't do cash out there. They don't do cash out there. I try. After the surgery, I got my medicine. I went back to the Airbnb. And I had to pee. I went back to the Airbnb and I had to pee. I pulled my pants down. And the blood started pouring. It was just blood everywhere. So I had got me some like pads and I got me some gauges or whatever, just put the pads on it and like just covered it up so I don't have like, you know, the blood running everywhere in somebody else's Airbnb or whatever. So I did that to, you know, eliminate all the blood all over the house. So the first day, so I had got my massages done from Yoli's Touch. So I had got, actually, she's very reasonable. She's a nice lady. Look her up when you go get your procedure or whatever. Once you book your procedure, contact my girl Yoli and say, hey baby, I need my massages done. She does the best massages and lymphatic, like, lymphatic draining. You need the lymphatic draining after you get lipo. Or I want to say any surgery, but I really don't know. All I got was lipo and abdominal etching, and I had to get lymphatic draining. So I'm guessing whoever gets surgery do awesome. So she's very good. You know, she's very, like, gentle, but she gets the job done. And she's a nice, warm, really nice lady, and she knows what she's doing. I did five days. I had got five days of surgery, so I had to go on Monday. I got surgery from Monday to Friday for 450. So it wasn't even hundred dollars a day. So hit my girl up, cause she gonna get you right with the prices and everything. And this is not paid promo, baby. I'm just letting y'all know from my experience. She gonna get you right. But the first day, let me just tell all y'all so y'all know what to expect. The first day after you get your surgery, I got my drainage done. I didn't feel anything. I was numb. So I didn't feel nothing at all. I went to sleep, I'm seeing woke up in some blood again because she had to push out all my like fluids or whatever. The next day, I woke up, I wasn't actually, I was sore, but it wasn't like no excruciating pain like because after my surgery, I it honestly was not bad. But when I went to get my, my, my lymphatic draining, baby, I almost died. She did have to like push all the fluid through like the whole, the incisions you get for your surgery. They have to push the fluids out of it. And baby, when I tell y'all that stump hurt, the second day the worst day, baby. I'm I was in there leaning up, screaming, ah, ooh, I said, G Y'all yeah, called my mama. I said, I can't do it no more. But she was like, you got to get your draining or whatever. Da, 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 da. So I said, all right, man, I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Mind you, I said she's really, really gentle. So it's not the person you're going to. The second day after your surgery is going to hurt regardless when you get that draining. I didn't know what to do. I almost, what? Pee that bit. I was screaming. I was about crying. It hurt so bad. But when she was done, you know, I felt a lot a lot better after she drained me or whatever. Then the next morning, I felt even better. I had to go back the next day for the draining again, which day by day, the pain just lessens or whatever. So don't really be stressing about the massages. You need them. So don't really think too much about that. Cause you gonna have to get a baby regardless. So you don't get like knots and stuff in your body, like on your, in like your, yeah, in your body after your surgery. So you don't be hard. You know how people butts be hard after they get like, 
they BBLs and stuff. You don't want to be like that. It really helped me. I promise you, y'all, the whole time I was in Orlando, I was driving. I mean, I wasn't, it wasn't like hurting really bad. I didn't really need no assistance other than the second day. No, after after I got home the first day, I tried to use the bathroom and I, it just started like pouring down. Oh, uh, also PSA, I, I was constipated for a couple of days. I don't know if that's common. I heard it's common though. So I heard you got to take like stool softeners after you get surgery or whatever. But yeah, I was a little constipated for a couple of days. So I just want to throw that out there. But yeah, so I mean, after that, I was really, really, nothing hurt it. Nothing hurt it other than the massages and like the lymphatic draining. That's the only thing. The only thing that hurt. I feel like if I can do it, you can do it. I really, I'm really one of them people who, I'm the kid who had to get out the history class when they pay, when they play like the Cold War and stuff on the little movies because I can't look at blood and stuff like that. I will pass out and throw up. I can't do it. But I did it though. So I feel like anybody can really do it. The pain is not. Well, I don't know about y'all doctors. I just know Dr. Fam gonna get you right. So I know he gonna make sure you don't feel nothing. And it, it's really like, I would do it again. I would do it again. But I don't want no more surgeries. Cause y'all already seen the boy got his butt done. I ain't got my butt done, baby. I didn't get my butt done. So now I'm like two, I'm, I might say, I might be three weeks post op. Um, my body's doing actually really, really good. So, every day, sorry guys, I'm in my bed. I don't have my like ring like stand yet, so y'all gonna do it like this. Every day, I have to put on this right here, and I have to put on the waist trainer above it. The waist trainer gonna get my 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 little sides the way I want it, like a little coat body look, like an IG mop. Walk with a walk, body shape like a coat body. Stay on hook, dog. Little bit swap. Stay top like swap. Um, look like a Coke bottle. And this right here is supposed to like mold, mold my app. So wait, let me show you. But I don't know if you can see, it's like an app outline and I have to put it, I have to put it like this. I have to put it like this right here. And then I put the waist trainer, the waist trainer um, around it. I don't want y'all to see it, so if you want to see, you gotta subscribe to all the dents. You put it like this. I see like where my the dents is like from my abs, cause I can see my abs. So you put this on like this, boom, and then you take these and tighten it like this. And I have to wear this for two months. Um, I hate that. And I cannot expose my scars and stuff, my my stomach to the sun for what he said, he said for three months. So I don't like keep like permanent scars on my body. So that's another heads up. Um, the board is really, really uncomfortable. Um, imagine driving in, you can't like, like, I mean, it's, but you know, you, you paid for the surgery. So you got to deal with all the little after effects, but it's all going to pay off in the long run. But I mean, I just don't like it, but yeah, so I mean, you have to wear this every day for two months. You gotta wear it for twenty three hours. Twenty, yeah, you can wear it for twenty three hours a day. It's twenty four, so you gotta just take it off basically just to shower. When you get out the shower, you put it right back on and you keep it. I honestly, um, I love my results. Um, if I had to get it in my butt, I wouldn't because if you don't know, once you get your stomach and sides and stuff done, your butt gonna look bigger regardless. Like your butt's going to look bigger once you're like everything else is snatched like that. You gonna be looking, you know, thicker than a snicker or God. So I personally wouldn't have gotten in my butt because again, I was taking a pediment. This is what I took for the weight gainer. You cannot just find this in the store or online. So if you want some, hit me up and I can get you some or whatever. But yeah, that's what got me thick too. So I wouldn't have got it in my butt. And then I wouldn't be able to sit there. It, that would just be a lot. But yeah, so I'm trying to now. I'm trying to think of all of the things that you guys have asked me, so I can like you know, I can answer y'all questions. I try to include all of the questions y'all had in my um video, so you know, y'all wouldn't have to like look further for no more qu answers or ask me any more answers. But yeah, my the doctor's name is Doctor Fam. The place is called Doc like Fam's Institution of Estology, some of that, and it's in Orlando, Florida. They're very quick at like responding back and getting you in and out. Um, the, the process is really, really fast. If you got the money, the process is really, really fast. 
They also um offer payments too, like payment plans too. So if y'all was interested in that, y'all can also do that too. Um, my stomach, it it does not hurt now. I mean, it's a little sore like by the touch. Like if I push right here, it hurts a little bit, but overall, it don't hurt. Um, I just I give it a nine out of ten. The only thing I'll say is the um the, the only reason I don't give it a ten out of ten, cause them lymphatic massages, baby. Them lymphatic, I'm draining that thing hurt the first day. The first day it had hurt really, really bad. But you know, my girl, um, Yodi, she got me right. Go check her out. I got my um lymphatic massages from Yodi's Touch. And she's um in Orlando, Florida. Actually, also, she's um like three minutes from the doctor's office. She's literally like around the corner from him. Literally. Like you can walk from the doctor's office to to get your massages like in the um, across the street. So she's right around the corner also and she got very reasonable prices and she's very nice. I say get your body done if your money right, if you got the money and you can spend the money and get it. It wasn't about how long it would have took me. No, it, it wasn't about what I could have also did as an alternative to spending my money to get my stomach done. Honestly, I wanted to see my results fast. My birthday is in January. We are in November, about to be December. I want a photo shoot. I don't want to work out every day. I have a job. I have things to do. I don't. I can't just sit in the gym all day, 24/7. For me to get the shape I am now, I probably have to sit in the gym all day, every day, and like starve myself. I'm hungry. I like to eat. I'm a little fat. I, I, I'm fat a little bit. I have to eat. I can't. No, I'm not sitting in the gym all day. No, because of y'all. No. I wanted my abs now. It's it's my body, and I need it now. So that's when I got my abs now. Y'all ain't pay. I think that's all of the questions I have got asked. Um. I mean, I'm 19, so I mean, I feel like y'all can get it done in 19 also. Um, I don't think the age really, don't don't get like no little boy trying to get it. Um, but I'm 19, so I just feel like if you, if you around my age too and you want it, go get it. I feel like if you older and you want it, go get it. It don't hurt. My boy know what he doing. He been doing it. Um, get it. Um, I think that's going to wrap this video up. And I'm just going to say if it's your body, baby, you got the money, go get it. And if they hating on the baby, they can split it. Period.